In our Commitment 2018 coverage today, we are looking at House District 96. So right here on the map, you can see it's a large portion of Oklahoma County. And take a look at these candidates too. Let's pop these up. Incumbent Lewis Moore taking on Democrat Kathy Wallace. And we have Mrs. Wallace in studio with us this morning. It's so nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Thank you for having me. Today, especially it's the, the final push. So I imagine it that is. you're crazy busy right now. Let's start here. You have not minced words about the incumbent uh, Lewis Moore. You described after sitting with him for 20 minutes during the teacher walkout earlier this year, you said Lewis Moore does not care about the best interest of Oklahomans or public schools. Elaborate on that for us. Well, the most, in, the most important thing that I learned during that, that time period was that he doesn't understand public schools. Um, he's had children in private schools. His wife has taught in a, in a private school. And I think, in all honesty, he's just lost touch. And so it's important that we invest in education and um, specifically on 1010 X, which was the funding of education, he didn't vote at all. Um, it became one of those things where I think it became a contest of who voted when. And so rather than caring more about his constituents in public schools and actually placing that vote, he ended up not voting. And rewind just a little bit. You were there during the teacher walkout. Mm -hmm. You were one of the 200 women attorneys right. who were marching there. Tell us more about why that was so important to you to, to be there and to show up for that. Well, I'm a product of public education. I grew up in the Washington, Oklahoma area, was um, raised in that rural community. I uh, raised, we raised our son in Edmond Public Schools and just know the impression and the um, importance of great teachers in great public schools. And so um, it was just important to me to show them whether you agreed with the walkout or not, to show our um, teachers that we do care about them. They are important, they should be respected. And one of the things that happened during that time is it was something that I just really wasn't ready for from the, the standpoint of just the um, humility and just you know, the emotional effect that that would have on you. Because when we walked out from the Bar Association and went to the Capitol, mm -hmm. they, just thousands and thousands, tens of thousands of people were lining the sidewalk and cheering. It was one of the most humbling experiences of my life. And that was really the catalyst for your campaign. It, it was. was. that moment. And, and the real catalyst started when a, one of the teachers, you know, we kept thanking them for doing what they did and they were thanking us for showing up. And, and I, I shared with her, I said, hey, we just showed up today. You've been standing up for our children for years as an educator. And um, she said to me, but you don't understand. By showing up here today, you've shown us more respect and appreciation than we've gotten from there in the last week. And it you know- It was a profound moment for Right, you. it was. And just knowing that's wrong. You know, whether you agreed or disagreed, as I said earlier, you, you just don't disrespect our public education and our teachers. Take us through your, your platform as a candidate. Sure. Who are you, what are you standing for, and what are you promising constituents who show up on voting day? Okay, well, where I am is I'm very common sense. I have a lot of business experience. Um, I'm not, you know, party driven one way or the other. We just have to do what's right for Oklahoma. You know, I feel like that what we've forgotten is that together we're all Oklahomans first. And it's become so bipartisan in everything that we do. And we need people who are gonna work together. Um, the basic three um, areas of my campaign are education, obviously, um, proper funding. Our classrooms are so large. And I was just recently- After consolidation, yes. I was just recently in one of our um, middle schools in Edmond, and they're trying to teach 32, 34, sixth, seventh, eighth graders, and you know they're doing the best they can, but that's just too large a classroom, so we've got to do something about that. Um, the other thing is transparency and accountability. We need to know where our money's going and make sure that the money that's supposed to go to education or other important programs goes there. And go ahead. Uh, no, I was just going to say, you've also said Lewis Moore's completely disconnected with what hardworking Oklahoma families need, and so I was going to ask you how you are more in touch 
with that? Well, I deal with that, you know, every day, um, just in general life and, and talking with people and dealing with people and being in the community and being involved in our church. Um, I'm a mentor mom for mothers of preschoolers. So, you know, I understand that, you know, some of them are barely making it, that we don't isolate ourselves, you know, from our district. You know, having been raised in rural Oklahoma and this particular district serves all areas. We've got to serve Arcadia and Luther and Jones and Choctaw and Hera and those aren't the same needs as perhaps Edmond is so you know having been in both sides of that being in Edmond currently but also having been in the rural area you just have to stay in touch and understand what's important to them. And you took me to my next question you're extremely busy not only are you campaigning mm -hmm. you have a family you've owned a business you started a law firm you're a mentor at your church you're also a cook for Edmond Mobile Meals you've been on a team that provides clean water to Guadalupe Guatemalan Wells. How will you fit time for this into that schedule when we have about 45 seconds left okay. here? It's all about discipline and priorities. When I went to law school, I was married, had a full-time job, and had a three-year-old. So I understand about discipline and getting things done. And if we put our priorities, and this is an important priority for me, to make sure that Oklahoma gets better because they deserve better. Kathy Wallace, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. We appreciate it this morning. And let's take another one last look at this race together. We'll also be interviewing the Republican candidate, the incumbent who we've been talking about, Lewis Moore, on Friday. We'll post both of these interviews onto our website, KOC.com, right under the Meet the Candidates tab. Very easy to find.